one of the main aspects of this vineyard is the fact that it's extremely rocky, almost river rock type of soil. Got a lot of gravel, gravel sized rocks throughout the whole profile. It's almost as if it was a riverbed that came through here at some point in time. But this whole soil profile is much the same three to four or five feet deep as we dug with backhoes to investigate the soils. Very well drained, very porous. The roots of the vines migrate through the profiles and g gather as much uh, nutrients and water as they can. Earlier we talked about the canes that are on the cover crop that we're going to flail mow here in the next month from the prunings of the grapevines. And these are some of the remnants of canes that were chopped up a year ago and left here to decompose again to help aid in the soil profile and the biomass of the soil. We don't encourage everything to be completely chopped up to infinite little pieces but things like this is a benefit because it is slowly decaying and is helpful in the soil as well. Soil health is very important. If you don't have healthy soils you're not going to have a healthy crop. And I'm always very determined to make sure our soils are as healthy as we possibly can because, again, it's just a relationship that if you have very healthy soils, you can have a very healthy vineyard, orchard, landscape, whatever it is that you're trying to work with. So by the use of planting the proper cover crop at the proper time or managing the soils and, and providing good health and tilth, produces very healthy vines. These vines are approximately 14 years old and uh, they're very vigorous and by nature they're just vigorous in how they're grown. We put on very little nutrient and also very little water through the growing season. Again we feel that the root system has expressed itself, has migrated into the soil profiles, and we know roots are active at eight feet on this particular site. 